Hey, good morning, campers. I'm in New Jersey now. New Jersey. <laughs> Delaware Water Gap, Appalachian Trail Community. Hot dog and apple pie, five bucks. Edge of the Woods Outfitters. Looking for some canister fuel. Stopped in the Sunoco up the street. And uh, they had canister fuel. Four ounce can, $15. $15, they sell for like four or five dollars normally. That's outrageous. That's that's robbery. In the event, after this, headed to the trailhead and cross the Delaware River into New Jersey. Bye bye, Pennsylvania. Been nice knowing you. Not nice walking on your rocks. I'll tell you that. Deer head in 1853. Whoa, that's a cool building. Jazz club, lodging. A New Orleans vibe, which is good for a jazz place. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at that building. That's a cool building. The random stage out here and across the street. You have a little nat natural amphitheater. So people come sit here and watch a play. The blaze. Right next to the turnpike. We're going down this way. Right along the highway, right over the river. It's always fun breathing exhaust fumes while you're hiking on the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> okay, so that's disturbing. They have to put a sign up warning people that it could be fatal to jump from this bridge. Okay, so there's train tracks down below, down there. And right where the train tracks are, they put up this extra fencing to prevent people from jumping over the bridge onto the train tracks in front of a train and killing themselves. There's the official border, Pennsylvania, New Jersey. Leaving Pennsylvania, heading into New Jersey. And I gotta do it in the middle of a bunch of 18 wheelers on a bridge that's vibrating over a river. Yikes. Oh, I'm gonna blow my hat off my head. Jeez. <laughs> Getting on the Appalachian Trail in New Jersey. We'll be heading up that way. Just climbed a big hill. I'm in New Jersey now. New Jersey. <laughs> Are out very lovely alongside a creek with some little waterfalls. And then there's a bit of an uphill, which I just finished. That's why I'm out of breath. But it's flat now. As you can see behind me, soft dirt, a little bit more uphill ahead of me. Not too bad. Beautiful day, sunny. Uh, heading today to the Mohican. Outdoor Center, I think it's called, run by the AMC, which I think is the Appalachian Mountain Club, maybe? In the event, they have bunkhouses, and they have a deli or some kind of, you know, they can make food for you, sandwiches and stuff like that, so probably a small resupply. Anyway, it's supposed to rain tonight, so that'll be good to get in out of the, out of the elements, not have to get anything wet, and save time in the morning, get up and head out to the next shelter. Much more tree cover here in New Jersey for some reason. Uh, the trees have filled in a lot. Maybe it's just a different species of trees that leaf out earlier or something, but a lot more shade. This is kind of cool. You know, the trail is just solid rock. It's like a, a boulder or some kind of bedrock that is the trail. <laughs> Just this little stretch here, but I haven't seen this before. And there it is, the trail. <laughs> you just scrape the dirt off the top and you got yourself a, a, almost like a paved trail. Just when you think you're done with the rocks. 
Not quite yet. More ankle breakers ahead. Natural acidic composition. Only a few hardy species of fish. Pumpkin seed fish. I've never heard of pumpkin seed fish. Pumpkin seed. Registered natural landmark. 1970. Okay, I think the fire alcohol. Well, I'd like to check it out. Making my way around Sunfish Pond. And it is narrow and rocky in parts of it. Surprisingly so. Shades of Pennsylvania are haunting me. Huh. So far, New Jersey has the distinction of having the narrowest trail. So I just took a little break on Sunfish Pond. This beautiful pond in New Jersey. One of the seven natural wonders of New Jersey. Did you know that? I didn't know they even had seven natural wonders in New Jersey. <laughs> but beautiful glacial tarn or pond. Perfect day. Sunny, uh, but not hot. It's still cool. You know, 60s. And uh, no big winds. Um, I did get bit by a mosquito or something on my arm. I got a pretty good, a pretty good welt right there. And here's a Trail Angels cooler left by the Walnut Valley United Methodist Church. So they, they trust in Jesus, but they don't trust in people because they chain that sucker to the tree. <laughs> I am at the Mohican Outdoor Center, and we are in the Blueberry Lodge. I say we, me and Ash, were the only two in here. So I thought I'd give you a quick tour. So here's the entrance. You got little racks for sitting on, taking boots off and whatnot. Got a nice big living area. Couches. You got a bench. Table. You got some tables. Picnic tables. You got a firewood, fireplace. You got the kitchen. You got all stainless steel surfaces. Keeping things clean, coffee makers, microwave, electric stove, two refrigerators. You got bowls and plates and cups and mugs. You got some cutlery in the drawers. You got bathrooms. You got here. You got a half bath. Here you've got a full bath, toilet, sink, and shower. And another full bath, toilet, sink, and shower. Bunk room two hundred four. Got an upper and a lower, kind of offset from each other. It's kind of a strange arrangement. And you got two back there. This is where Ash is going to sleep. You got two bunks. They're kind of, one's a little bit higher than the other. Again, it's kind of a strange configuration. Another set of bunks. So, four bunks in here. Another four beds. You got your standard top and bottom bunk. And another standard top and bottom bunk. Finally, the room I chose, which has a single bunk here, then you got your standard up and down bunks, and then I chose this bunk over here because it has this little extra ledge for me to put stuff on, not knowing how many people would be here, and of course I can put stuff underneath too. And I got a charger plugged in back there food for tomorrow. Got some hooks here. Got my trekking poles hanging up. So anyway, that's it. That's the Mohican Outdoor Center. This is the Blueberry Lodge. I don't know if all the other lodges are the same. They're laid out differently, I'm sure, but it's the same idea in each one. So a nice place. A little bit on the pricey side, $50. Most hostels are $25 to $35 generally. There's no Wi-Fi here. There is Wi-Fi at the main building where the gift shop is and we can get sandwiches and beverages and things. So there is Wi-Fi there, not Wi-Fi here. Wi-Fi does not extend the lodges, unfortunately. That's it. All right. Hope you enjoyed the tour. We'll see you.